And they say that he's one of the best Afrobeat musicians we've been blessed with in this dispensation. His name is Mr. Miles. He's signed to Meme Life Records and also he has great tunes uh, from the one you just heard which is Pray. There's Don't Stop which we'll talk about. There, there are other ones, you know, a lot of songs from him. But I am privileged to have him in studio with me for a conversation. How are you doing Mr. Miles? Oh, I see. The, the last time I saw a video of you, it was a longer hair. I thought you had longer dreadlocks, you know. Um, I like to play with my hair a lot, and it was braids. It was braids. Yeah, yeah, so what's yeah. this now? This is my, this is my hair. This is your hair. You just twisted that. Yeah. Well, is, is that like your signature look? No, I wouldn't say that because I'll probably change it later on again. But still will be, you know, braids or yeah, or you, yeah. you scrape off your, your entire hair? No, 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 that one. <laughs> <laughs> that is not going to happen, eh? No, no, no. Hey, no. Why, what, what, does, what does the dread, what does the twisting of your hair and all that add to the brand? I like, I just like having hair. I like being able to do stuff with my hair. Mm, mm. yeah. How's been, how's been the journey so far? Uh, I can't complain. You can't complain. Eh? I can't complain. You're all. feeling the love? All the time. I see, day. I hear people say you're a Tema Community 2 boy. Uh, we can say that right which, which, which of the okay right there yeah, they can claim right you did, yeah. no but originally yeah. like where are you from um i was born in nigeria mm. and then i moved to which of the states lagos mm. baoni uh. <laughs> you, <laughs> you, you don't forget you don't take down and chop amala well i know you chop amala again uh -huh. i take do banku and those other ghana food but still, ever, ever. It's still ever, ever. It's at still least ever. Ghanaians know ever. But those who don't know Amala, Amala is Can you even talk closer to me? You know, we are social distance. Uh, yes. no, no. That's your microphone. That's oh, how I okay, wanted to okay, drop okay, closer okay. so we could hear you properly. Yeah. So now that Tema Community 2 is claiming, but you're Ghanaian. Is yeah, that what I'm it Ghanian. is? Both you just bought, oh, are both Ghanian. parents are Ghanaian. Yeah. Okay. So Tema Community 2 is claiming you. They want you. Giddy, giddy, giddy. <laughs> um, um, I don't think. I'll say I'm a Tema County too, but I, I just do music for whoever wants to listen. Mm. Whoever vibes with it can claim it down and there. And I see that there's a lot of infusion of the Niger feel in your song. Um, yeah, people tell me, but I don't, I don't see it personally. I don't see it myself. I just feel like I do what comes to me. Mm. Yeah. Have you also heard people say you sound like Mr. Easy as well? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Well, anytime people say that, I'm like, ah, Mr. Mr. S is Baba, so don't don't compare me to Mr. S. Mr. S is like... Because, like, I, I, I get the Mr. Easy feel, I get the Burner Boy feel as well. Wow. Okay, I've heard Burner Boy. You've once. heard Burner Boy as well, yeah? Burner you Boy see, I'm not once. lying at all. <laughs> I'm not lying at all. That means that you're bound for greatness. Yes, sir. In, 2020, in 2019, we're told that you're one of the, arguably, the biggest Afrobeats musician that we have discovered. Yes, sir. How's that journey going? Um, it's been great it's giving me a lot of opportunities i didn't expect myself to get at the time because we were just starting everything was fresh we just dropped one sound and then next thing you know this guy it's calling this guy wants you here and stuff like that it was, it was great and then this this year has been mad so far mm. Corona tried to slow us down, but nah. Because I was going to say, hey, you beat Corona too. People are complaining, but if you say it's been mad, then <laughs> no, no, it's things been, have happened. It's, we've, been, we, we've been slowed a bit, but not like massively. Because what we expected well, isn't what we're seeing. Mm. We didn't expect to be, still be dropping tunes by this time. Where, oh, child, Corona come there before relax. But now nah, we're still going on. People are vibing to the sounds. People are supporting. And it's crazy, it's crazy. It's crazy for you. The support is massive. <laughs> yeah. And you decided to do Don't Stop. Yeah. I saw the video. And uh -huh. it's a beautiful video, though. Thank you. And Thank then you. You, you, that, what she was doing to you, she didn't stop, eh? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> like when you guys put words together and you're asked to, asked to defend the words, the way you guys react to them, it's really, really funny. Oh. So tell me about Don't Stop. Okay, let's start it like that. Tell me about Don't Stop. Um, don't stop him. When, when I'm trying to record a song, I usually let the beat tell me what mm. it wants. Then mm. I put it on the beat. That's how I get inspired. Wow. So usually I'm not thinking about the words. I'm just thinking about the vibe. If I can gel with the beat, it's like I try to get in a relationship with the beat. So sometimes the beat, like some girls, and go bounce you. And you know mm. that. But don't stop there was like instant. The words just came and then 
pa, 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 we're done. Wow. And I just needed something that we could vibe with easily. So, apart from the fact that you need something you could vibe, with, was this a story about your personal life? Was it a story about you know? No, it wasn't a story. We just wanted something we could vibe with. And and mm -hmm. I I saw that you had a fine girl in there that you're vibing with as well. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I don't know. I don't know whether it's ready. Uh, we want to see those stuff. But pray, which is my favorite of yours, yeah. uh, so inspirational. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> what was happening to you at the time you put it together? Pray, pray. Like I said, the beat, the beat told mm. me. Put but this is like me. speaking about God blessing our hustle and all of that. Yeah. Most of the time, musicians, I'm told, sing out of experiences, out of your your pain and all of that. Yeah. When 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 the beat is telling you what to put on it, it comes from within. So usually you're not thinking about what exactly you're writing. You're just writing. It took a while for pray to make sense to me mm. personally it was making sense to everybody around me everybody was like yo this thing is but i wasn't seeing it myself mm. my producer wasn't seeing it either wow. uh, nixie official he wasn't seeing it either until recently we sat down to listen to it again and we're like yo child, this thing actually it, it makes sense because mm -hmm. at the time we were just trying to do we just trying to do music it was like any other song. We always record almost every day. So I see. Yeah. I'm not sure it was like any other song for people like me. <laughs> yeah, other people who are asking God to bless yeah, the but, other but song. I really, I really, I'm really touched by how the song has been able to touch a lot of people. Because yeah. we meet people and they tell you, yo, Charlie, your song, they motivate me when I wake up in the morning and stuff like that. It's amazing. It's amazing. Anyway, let's sing. I like, I like the dance. Yeah. Don't stop. That was SDK's idea. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. We, were, we were shooting the video and he was there. We had this dance we were supposed to do. And then SDK just jumps in front of everybody and starts doing his own dance. Oh, and but it came out like, really beautiful. Let's follow this one. Yeah, yeah, it came out great. It came, it came out, out great. great. So, Nim Records, eh? Nim Re Life. Nim Life Records. M -I -M. Music is my life. This what? Music is Music my life. Music is my life. Yeah. Okay. Oh, but that is supposed to be... Okay, so M I M, music which is, is music is, is my, and then you life. have life. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. wow, that's beautiful. Is it was it created by yourself or it's a record label that no, is a record label. different from you yeah, as a brand? Yeah, yeah. They signed you on. Yeah. Wow, that's beautiful to know. Mm -hmm. Are they family members? No, no, no. Because no. this is we hear that most of them, <laughs> it's family members that get to sign artists and all of that. No, uh, no. How did they discover you? Um, I actually found them. To a friend. Okay. A friend sent me uh, a list of labels she wanted me to send my uh, demos to at the time. Mm. And then out of the Mim Life, Mim Life's name was looking, was sounding really nice. Mm. I was like, hey, wait, people do this. Mm -hmm. So I called them and they were like, uh, send us your stuff through our email. I was like, nah, I've been doing that for like two years already. Nothing they have. No, nobody, they called me back. So I want to come myself. And they said, okay, cool come around and then I went there they listened to the vibes they were like yeah we'd like to see what you can do not work with you yet though. so they asked me to call back I kept calling and they invited me over and then we recorded one two three I think right now we're almost at a hundred wow yeah hundred songs like really for real yeah for real but we don't have up to 100 on social media no, yet. No, no, no. <laughs> anyway but uh, the reason i was asking about the record label is mm -hmm. all the issues we've had with record labels and all of that are you comfortable with the deal that they've given you are you do you have are you open to have a conversation when you become you know that big guy and you think <laughs> that you're making all the money or your your hands are tied I'm, for I'm, as long as you're with them i'm i'm very very comfortable with mm -hmm. the situation i'm in right now um, you on TV? Oh. This is yeah, a record. Oh. Yeah, we'll yeah, no. tomorrow. No, 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 no. Mm -hmm. The thing, the thing with Mem Life is Mem Life is family. I don't think my, I don't think my family would see an opportunity coming for me that would take me to the next level and say, um, because we we find you first or something. So stay here. Mm. I don't think they will see Universal calling and say, stay here, mm -hmm. don't, yeah, they're not like that, they're family, they want to see me grow, they want to see me succeed, the same way I want to see them grow and succeed too. As you think of growth, are there names that you want to grow with, or are there names that uh, you've seen already uh, out there that you want to leverage on, you know, to get even more attention? Um, right now, Whiskey. 
the guy wants the big fish, you know. <laughs> no, the thing is, the thing is, that's that's been the guy I've always looked up to. Tell for, me. For a very long time. What about whiskey? When when you're a small boy growing up in Nigeria, at my time, you either you're either with P Square, you're either with Dibanj, or some of the other big dogs, and then so at that time. We're just there, everybody's watching TV and now suddenly this young guy comes through and then he's like he's like my age group mm. type of guy and mm. he's doing big things on TV so it motivated me like I could do what this guy is doing so I started following that and every whiskey song I could get. When I came to Ghana, um it switched a little. I started hearing more of Mugis and I was like, wow. yo, this guy is bad. Mm -hmm. So I started following Mugis too. So between both of them. So you love. Is it, is it the vocals? Because it looks like uh, Mugis has beautiful vocals. They Amazing say put Mugis on a song and it's a hit. That's what they say. It's, it's <laughs> <laughs> is it his vocals that got your attention or got you falling in love with him? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And his relaxed style of music. He's very, very chill. I like that a lot. Mm. Have you reached out to him? No, yeah, I want to. I want to work some more myself. You want to work some more? Yeah. <laughs> and see, he says he wants to work some more before you know he decides to. Yeah, but it will be to... soon. It will mm. be soon. We'll definitely reach out soon. But right now, yeah. Now that you you you've gotten you know pray you have those stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, there's another one you released earlier. Uh, make me dance. Yeah, you make know? me dance. We just I think we dropped it on Sunday. Oh, just on Sunday. Yeah. And uh, why did you drop those stuff still in this 2020? Yeah, yeah. Ah, like you don't know. Months, you, you, don't, you don't. You don't. This corona, <laughs> it, it never do you anything. No. <laughs> As in, you have time. Oh. Um, You're releasing hit songs. Oh. The team. The team is say. The team is Corona make everybody go to the house. Me to a day house first, my producer. Mm -hmm. Now, only recording we go feed do. So, if we record the song, then the song, the song fine. Mm -hmm. They will just drop on. Are you one of those who goes to bed? Like you said, you hear the beat and then you have mm -hmm. an idea. Do you go to bed, you know, dreaming about, you know, some beats and you come and tell the producer that, Charlie, I want to hear co 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 or... Yeah, yeah, yeah. It happens sometimes. Okay. But me, I'm a dad and I'm a dad. <laughs> <laughs> so it usually happens when I wake up in the morning and I'm walking around the house trying to gather my thoughts for do you, do, do, you, do you get it on the messy seat as well? I feel so when they're on the toilet seats, that's when they get the inspiration. No, you're taking I think a when shower. I'm taking a shower. You're taking yeah. a shower. So how do you do? Do you rush and come in right and go back or you I take usually, a phone? I usually and... carry my phone to the shower because I know anything can happen. Okay. So maybe I get the vibe. I'm going to send it straight to my producer to see what he thinks about it. If he thinks it's good, then I'll start working on it. And then he'll start working on the beat. I see. So what does the future look like for you? Uh, apart from the fact that you're eyeing some, you know, collaborations and all of that. What mm -hmm. does the future look like? What should we expect uh, um, from Mr. Mouse in the next two, three, four, five years? I think that this year hasn't ended though. <laughs> 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 you don't want to project into the future. No, no, no. The, I, my, I'm, I first want to look at my immediate future because we're not done dropping uh -huh. this year. We're so we are, we are testing some more tunes this year. Yeah. How many so, more? Let's see, like two more. Two more. And we don't want to drop child. You don't want to drop child. Eh? Mm. We wish you the best, you know. But thank I hope you, that you, you're you. making some small, small cash or it's taking some well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cash, yeah, yeah necessary. You're making it? Mm, small, small. Small, small. Small, right. small. It go be. Oh, sure. sure. All right. <laughs> so his name is Mr. Mouse. You want to check him out on uh, YouTube. He's got great song. My personal favorite is Pray. He's uh, promoting Don't Stop. And then he has some others there that you can have a look at and support his music. But